we all know the feeling when you get home from work or you go to work and someone has parked in your own private parking space. Inconsiderate parking is one of the biggest bugbears of inner city living. So, customers contacted us, she needed a parking post, she's got an issue with parking, and she gets home from work. Now, like most properties, very built up, parking is at a premium, everyone's got their own space or their own designated space, but very rarely you come home and you find it's free. So she's opted for a fold down type parking post. This is a two hole fixing, surface fixed, fold down parking post. Now majority of parking spaces are normally around about 2.4 metres wide. We always advise setting any parking post at least a, minim a minimum of a metre away from the front of your parking space. What this will do, it will give you, if someone tries to turn around or three, three point turn in a car park and your post is right at the very front, there's a possibility it could get knocked, maybe get damaged. So if you set the post back at least a metre from the front, central to the parking bay, pretty much safe in the knowledge that no one's going to really reverse into the post, no one can park behind it and no one can park in front of it. So that's how we normally set out on a parking bay. In this instance, the lady's also chosen um, white line marking. Now we use a thermoplastic line which is burnt into the surface. Um, it's totally optional. Some customers would like to have their own bay marked out, but that's a service we provide. So purely down to each individual customer. Now, if you're going to do the fit the post yourself, I'm just going to show you what you're going to need, what we advise you use. So you need a, a good power drill, use the epoxy resin. We do supply this. The resin gun, the two studs, and the two varieties, three varieties of, 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 stu of um, stud heads for the studs. Now the hole is pre-drilled now to the right size to accept the stud. Now we're ready to inject the resin into the cavity we've already drilled. This resin, very strong, sets in around about 20 minutes, depending on the temperature, but it's, we use this on every installation. Doing it slowly so it disperses any air that's in the hole. Insert the stud. Slight twisted motion. It should be a nice tight fit. Blade is right handed. She asked it to be locked to be on the right hand side, which it is. Position that over the two studs. What you don't want is too much stud showing. It can look a bit ugly. Uh, it's not a very nice finish. Now I'm going to let that set around about 20 minutes. Then I'll tighten it up and show you how to use the post. Now in this instance, aside from the parking post, the ladies needs white linings into her bay, just to define her bay from everyone else's. So this is a service we also provide if you need it. And this lady, this is what she requested. Now I've let the post set, the resin set, about 20 minutes. And the lady chosen just to have standard, a standard nut on the stud. That's pulling the, the post right down into the tarmac. That is by far the strongest fixing you'll get in the tarmac. This particular post is one of our hinge posts. With an integral lock, it's made in the UK. Let's say this has got an integral lock. Basically as you would at normal key, into the key. When you turn this post, You'll hear, the, you'll hear the post lift out of the socket, remove the key, and it can be laid down and drive your car in. To lock the post, this particular post, pull vertical, push down into the recess, and that post will lock itself. The post can also be laid either way, whatever you prefer. 
Press that right. Lock both. So to sum up, it was just a brief demonstration, just to show you how to install a parking post. Customers now have got their own private bay, fully secured. Job done.